Hey guys, welcome back to All in the Law. Uh, this is a medical video lecture, sorry, quick internal medicine. And today I'm going to talk about what are the criteria for to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis. Criteria for rheumatoid rheumatoid arthritis okay so you know very well the rheumatoid arthritis is nothing but it's a chronic inflammatory symmetric arthropathy right and this uh, rheumatoid arthritis involves a multiple joints right so much so many joints are involved in this condition but guys, there are only two joints that are never involved in this rheumatoid arthritis. And these two joints are really very important. You should know why. Because by these joints, if in a case scenario by USMLE or by any other medical board examination, if they give that this the, the joint is involved, then it's rarely, it's a, what you call um, rheumatoid arthritis, okay? So, which are those two joints that are never involved in rheumatoid arthritis so guys they are dip that's the distal interphalangeal joints and joints of the lower back okay so in your assembly they will uh, they will trick you that the pain in the lower back okay or in distal interphalangeal joints so try to think that really it's what you call a rheumatoid arthritis okay but there is a criteria to diagnose a rheumatoid arthritis. So let's talk about this. So first remember if you need what you call, I'm going to mention the criteria uh, up to seven. Uh, if any four are present, then you can what you call uh, diagnose uh, rheumatoid arthritis. The most important is the morning stiffness. So morning stiffness, if it's more than one hour, one hour, for six weeks, really very important, try to know the timing, try to know the duration, very important, how long does it gonna last, that's more than six weeks, is really very important point, okay guys, and once it starts in the morning, it, it, it lasts for more than hour, okay. The second important criteria is what you call swelling of the wrist, very important. Swelling of wrist, like M C P P I P, for six weeks. Here, most of the time, the joint involvement is for a minimum of for six weeks. Remember, that's why it's known as a chronic inflammatory. Okay, it's not an acute; it's a chronic. Okay, so. Right, MCP, PIP, but DIP is never involved in this uh, disease. That's really very important, guys. Okay, so the third important point is symmetric joint swelling. Symmetric joint swelling for six weeks. Okay, and swelling of the three joints, three joints for six weeks. Morning stiffness more than one hour for six weeks. Swelling of the what you call uh, wrist joints like PCP and the PIP for six weeks. Swelling of what you call symmetric joint swelling for six weeks. Swelling of the three joints for six weeks. Okay, and if you take an x-ray, you see joint erosions, okay, and lab findings, you see what you call positive rheumatoid factor, rheumatoid factor, okay, and the last is you see rheumatoid nodule, rheumatoid nodule, okay guys. So these are the important criteria for the diagnosis of what you call a rheumatoid arthritis. Remember, this is a really, really very important.
okay this is very important right so guys this is uh, thank you so much for watching this video take care